Watery is a large area to explore in Alan Wake 2, and like most places in the game, there are hidden items around nearly every corner. Like Bright Falls and Cauldron Lake, the Cult of the Tree have hidden several locked caches through the town. By finding them and solving the puzzles required to open them, you can ensure that you have plenty of gear for when the Taken attack. If you're running around in circles trying to find a missing stash, or if the cultist clues aren't clicking, never fear, we've got all the locations and answers right here. About halfway along the forest trail in Watery, you'll see a sign with a map. Take the right hand path here and you'll crawl under some boards and climb up a ledge. At the top, you'll find a manuscript page and a locked box. Watch the buttons on the lock as they light up and then press them in the same order to access the supplies inside. The hunting lodge on this trail contains a break room that you can activate by using the generator outside. Once you've saved, look for a large lockbox just outside the shack to the left. The lock requires a three digit combination, so take a look at the archery targets to your right. Three of the numbers have cross bolts in them. Target 5 has one bolt, target 2 has two bolts, and target 7 has three. This means that the correct combination is 5 to 7. Inside the box you'll find the crossbow, a weapon unique to Saga, and once you've collected it, make sure to pick up all the cross bolts from the targets nearby. As you first enter the Coffee World theme park, go to your left and look by the ferris wheel. There's another cult stash here, and this one has an arrow indicating a clockwise rotation and the words only striped cups. The carts on the ferris wheel are shaped like coffee cups with numbers on the side. Cars 1, 4 and 7 are striped and appear in numerical order when counted clockwise on the wheel. So use the code 147 to open the stash and collect the supplies inside. In the Coffee World theme park, Travel west to the entrance to the Knight's Motorcycle Workshop. Behind the well, you'll find a small clearing with a cult stash. The key to this chest is hidden behind the giant coffee mascot near the park's southern exit. Approach the statue from the rear left and look carefully at the ground when you're standing by its arm. When you open this stash, be sure to collect the note inside the lid as it's a piece of evidence for your investigation. Before you can get this next stash, you'll need to go into the overlap and complete the boss fight there. After that, the flooding and watery will recede, and you can venture a little further into the trailer park. A locked stash is located near the trailer next to Saga's in the trailer park. If you break into the nearby trailer using the screwdriver, you can read an email that says the keys are somewhere a bit harder to reach so that they won't be washed away by the flooding that happens so often in the area. Exit the trailer and look to your right. You'll see a blue box with a plank that you can use to climb up it. So go on top of this box and you'll find the key to the stash on top of the power meter. When you reach the break room on the climb towards the lighthouse, look for a trail to your right. You'll have to climb up onto a ledge where you'll find a large clearing with a cult stash at the far end. If you search the area with your flashlight, you'll see several symbols in yellow paint that only appear when illuminated. Each one is next to a cult symbol made of twigs, and there are more symbols in the area than there are dials on the lock, so you'll need to determine which ones are relevant. I'll save you the hassle of having to run around and find them, just take a look at screen and you'll see the symbols you need to use to unlock this stash. Once the flooding has receded in watery after you've been through the overlap in Return 3, go to the docks at the southeast corner of town. A new cult stash will appear behind some large blue containers. This combination lock is a word problem, and given limited information you need to determine how much power the second of three batteries has. I'll spare you the complicated maths to work this one out, the answer to this one is 496. Moving on to the last stash you can find in Watery, you'll first need to acquire the bolt cutters which you'll pick up later in the story. Once you've got them, return to Watery and use them to break into the fenced off area at the Cavcala Knights workshop which is found on the western side of the map. You'll have passed through here during the story earlier on. The final cult stash in this region is against the back of the building, but be alert as you approach the stash as a pair of mirror taken will spawn to your right and a darkness barrier will block your escape. You can hide in the light to your left if you need to recover. The note on the stash itself has drawings of the rides from Coffee World. If you look around the yard and count the number of cars for each ride, then you can find your answer. There are five for the Slow Roaster, four for the Espresso Express, and two for Latte Lagoon. This means that the answer to open the stash is 542. So that's how to find all of the cult stashes in Watery in Alan Wake 2. I've been Luke Gould, thanks for watching, and check out thegamer.com for more.